champagne. They are honoring Kofi Colbert just in case he decides to start his professional career. They're honoring the seniors as well. A couple of transfers and a couple of guys that have been here a long time. Devontae Williams and Brett Frazier have helped turn this program. Yeah, I mean, Brett Frazier, he's a, the undisputed leader of the Illini. He's played the most games in school history and wants to put on one final show for these fans in Champagne who have given him so much love and support. Look at a trivia. This is the fourth consecutive senior day that I was playing on. They've scored a couple already at Northwestern and at Michigan. Today they try to clinch the fourth seed in a double bye. If they lose this game, they'd have to play on Thursday as the five seed. And Illinois, as we touched on, has a shot at a share of the conference championship and the one seed in the tournament. Wisconsin moves the earlier today to Nebraska. So any lineups for these two teams? Well, Jordan Bohannon moved the point guard at the start of February. Tony Perkins pulled into the lineup. They brought eight to one since then. Patrick McCaffrey starts because Patrick McCaffrey is out, not COVID illness. Also due to the hip injury still, so Adam McCaffrey makes the start. And Coleman Hawkins for Illinois makes his first start in three months because Jacob Brandison unavailable. Ranger in his shoulder and they're winning against Penn State on Thursday. You had a big three about four and a half minutes to go on that win against Penn State. It was about two and a half minutes to go into that forward group on the top of the game. Nice ball player having to come through. Joe Davis, Casey Jacobson, and Champagne, and off we go in this top 25 matchup. A couple teams that don't like each other very much, meeting for the 166th time. At stake here. Obviously, interesting to keep an eye down low. I will, I will guard Kofi Coburn down low. Philip Robracha, number zero in black, is just 6'9, 230 pounds. His friend McCaffrey, and it was interesting to watch the way the coach McCaffrey's team defended Kofi Coburn exactly three months ago. We don't know this year. 873 of them will win. They threw a bunch at Kofi Colbert and started in man to man defensively, but then it quickly turned into a switching zone, and it really worked to help them get back in the game and end up losing. But I expect to see a lot of switching defenses today. Peter Murray's first shot contested in the hands of Colbert. Illinois on Thursday beat Penn State 60 to 55. Even though they only got 11 points from Colbert, he only attempted seven shots, his fewest this year. His first one today hits the front of the rim. A second try gets blocked. A third opportunity blocked as well. Williams comes out of it, and then it's knocked out of bounds, and it stays here. I'm not sure how the home scorekeeper is going to mark this one. Is this 0 for 2 of the two offensive boards? I would say so. Again, Brophy had 18 rebounds, a season high in Iowa City in the first matchup. Williams picks up right where he left off on Thursday night. With all that attention on Colbert, Williams took advantage with a season high 14. Penn State's game plan defensively was to sit in the lap of Kobe Colbert, deny his touches, and they basically said, Devontae Williams, we dare you to beat us, and he did. 14 points is only double figure scoring game of his career. It sounds crazy when you say it out loud. The 155th game, first time that he led the Illini. Murray gets the defender to fly by. The big Tazlandi score gets blocked by Coburn. Ben Frazier back the other way. Over the top, Coburn. And he's got it. And they're only 5 0 lead. Coleman Hawkins and Kofi Colburn working on that pass every day, that high-low action. Tony Perkins drops it in mid-range, and he is...